Good morning Year 6, it's Miss Airy here and we are about to start a new topic for the reading week which will be all about the Titanic. So you have been sent this text, it is two pages, you have this on one half of your page and this on the other, so it's just that page to be looking at today. Um, and I have made a separate video of me reading this text to you. So if you wanted someone to follow along with you as you read, then please do go to that link which is on the top of the, the page where you can hear me read that with you. Okay, so for today, Monday the 8th of February, we are going to be just straightforward today looking at some retrieval work. So we're going to be scanning and skimming the text and we're most importantly going to be looking out for the important words and phrases that are black and white there in the text. So this is the page that you've been sent, this is your task for today. It's quite an important one so you really get to know lots of information about the Titanic before we start getting into the horror that ensued with the Titanic hitting an iceberg. Okay so this is the part of the text that we're going to focus on today. Um, we're going to be looking at these questions. How was it built? So straightforward retrieval activities there. And what made it special? And you might actually start to do a little bit of inference because you might make your own deductions, your own conclusions about uh, what the Titanic was like. So I'm just going to read this little part with you. So we're going to look at building work and we're going to look at facilities. And as we go through, because we know we are going to be labelling this diagram, I would like us to uh, highlight information as we go. So I've got a green pen that I'm going to be underlining with. Um, it's up to you how you wish to um, circle or highlight or underline today. Okay, so I'm just going to start with building work. The Titanic was built in Belfast, Ireland. It took three years to build and cost millions of dollars. Now, does that answer any of the questions, how was it built? Well, yes, because I want to know that it was built in Belfast, Ireland. I've just realised that my pen is now gone to red, because I clearly didn't know what I was doing. OK, so it took three years to build and it cost millions of dollars. Again, all important information, and we can label somewhere on that when we uh, get onto the activity. We can put that on there. The ship was constructed so it had 16 watertight compartments to keep the, ships, the ship and passengers safe. These compartments included, now this is all getting into really important information about how the ship was made, heavy metal doors which closed in around 30 seconds if any water seeped in. The doors close slowly to give escaping crew members time to pass through. And this is all important information, especially when we come to discuss what happened to the Titanic uh, later on in the week. It had four funnels, but interestingly, only three of these funnels worked. The other one was just to make it look powerful. So that tells us a lot about the people who made the ship, doesn't it? That they obviously wanted this landmark ship, this amazing vessel to look really powerful because it was the biggest ship that had been made. So it, they wanted it to look as best as it possibly could. Now, I'm not going to read facilities with you. You can read through that by yourself, but you get the idea of you read it, you highlight as you go, looking for information of how it was built and also what made it special. And then all you need to do is go to your diagram and start to label it. So um, I might take that funnel fact. I mean, obviously you will put all of this on. I'm just going to do one today and I'm going to go with the funnels because I, I really like that fact. So I'm going to um, just draw a label to the funnels. Uh, just stating the obvious, here we go, we have four funnels. If we could see the text, that would be nice. Here we go. So four funnels, but only three of them worked. Um, and here's a slight inference, I suppose. The uh, makers of this ship wanted it to look 
powerful. Okay. And I would like you to write inside the boat, it, outside of it, um, as many comments as you can by lifting as much information as is possible from this text. Now when you come down to the facilities section, there's an awful lot of information there. You'll be circling quite a lot of information about why it was special, what made it stand out to other cruise ships at the time. And if you remember um, from reading this text all the way through, that this was built in 1912. So this ship was an absolute revelation of its time um, in terms of technological advances. This was, this was it. Um, so they really wanted to make it stand out. So as you read this facilities section, you'll really see how they try to make it as special as possible. So your task today is uh, label as much of this diagram as you can, um, showing how it was built and what made it special. Good luck and we look forward to seeing what you come up with.